All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you a trick that I use a lot when I am trying to get either darker or lighter colors um, for a color palette that matches colors that I already have existing in my brand. Um, sometimes you need like darker colors, maybe for um, some copy, or you need lighter colors that kind of provide a little bit of that light and white contrast on your website. So how do we get colors that really match the colors that we already have existing in our brand? So what I'm going to do is in Canva, I am going to push on R and it's going to add a square directly into my canvas. And so I'm going to just go ahead and um, sort of create a little color scheme here of just blocks that have the color scheme that I'm using already. So I'm just going to add them and I'm going to select the colors that I have here on my brand kit already. All right. And then I am going to show you how we can get some lighter and darker colors. All right. And um, let's actually do one more. I want this light color in there. And we'll center that. All right. Perfect. So what I like to do in order to get a light color, let's say we want a light yellow color that's going to um, sort of complement this. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to hold option on my keyboard and I'm going to drag it. And so that duplicates the file or that element, I guess I should say. Um, and then let's see, I'm going to click on this and then we're going to go to the transparency option right here. And I'm going to reduce this as much as I can um, to a color that I like. So around 10% is typically where I go. If I'm looking for a really, really light color, I'll go to about 10 or even sometimes 5%. Especially if you're dealing with these darker colors, you'll need to go to more of a 5% range. So let's take this for example. I'm gonna bump this down to five and you'll see we've got this lighter color um, that complements the screen, right? All right, so now I'm gonna duplicate this again. So I'm gonna take these two and I'm gonna move them down here. Now I can't get the actual color code from these. It's going to be the color code of this because it is this color. We've just reduced the opacity, but how do we get this actual color so that we have a hex color code that we can work with? So in this case, you'll select this new block that we just duplicated here. And I'm going to click on this little plus icon and then I'm going to click on the dropper and I'm going to select that. So now I've got this actual color with this hex color code. So this is the color that complements this green color that we've got going on. We're going to do the same thing with this yellow one. So I'm going to click on the plus and then I'm going to click on that. And so now I can get rid of those in the middle. And so now I've got some lighter colors going on um, that will complement these, this um, kind of mustard and green color that we have. All right, so let's do the same thing with a darker color. So how do we get a darker shade of this mustard color that will work? Or maybe even a darker shade of this green color. So in this case, um, let's go ahead and duplicate these. Again, I'm holding option on my keyboard to move these and duplicate them. And I'm gonna do this again. And this time I'm going to take these two and we're gonna make them black. So I'm just gonna open up my colors and I'm gonna make both of them black. And then I'm gonna put these right there, but I'm gonna take the black ones. I'm gonna select both of those and we're gonna do position, move to back. All right, we're gonna do the same thing again by lowering the opacity of these, but now we've got that black behind it. So as we lower the opacity of the green and mustard on top of black, it will actually get darker for us, okay? So you'll see here, we've got that black coming through the back. So typically this would be, let's try 80 or so, and then let's take this and let's actually put it next to the screen up here so that we can see the difference between the two. So let's actually go a little bit more. We're going to go up in number. Oops. Nope. We're going down in number. Sorry. Let's see. 70. All right. So now we've got it a little bit darker. I actually like the way that looks. All right. We're going to do the same thing with this one. So I'm going to do 70. Okay. And I don't know if I love that. So let's actually adjust that a little bit. Let's go back to 80. Perfect. Okay. So I think that mustard color sort of complements this brighter color that we have, but this just gives her, gives us a darker variation of it. Okay. So now we've got those two and we're going to do the same thing that we did earlier by selecting, um, the, uh, 
the color with the little eyedropper. That way we can get an accurate hex color code. I'm going to take these two. Let's just duplicate them, move them down. Okay. I'm going to select this one and the little color option here. Click the plus icon, then the dropper, and then I'm going to select this. And we'll do it again over here. So plus and the little dropper, and then we'll select this. All right. And so now we'll delete that. And so now we've got these darker shades and these lighter shades, and we have all the hex color codes that go alongside of them so that we can easily add them into our website or um, add them to our brand kit if we wanted here in Canva so that we can add them to additional designs that you're working with within your brand.